Like, I know this seems really stupid. I'm seriously heartbroken. My 2024 is off to a really start. Tell me, what has you so torn up? Kim K Hollywood is shutting down. This app is like my everything. I play it every freaking day. Some people do drugs. Some people rob and steal and kill. I play Kim Kardashian. This is what I do in my free time. I'm sorry to say it's time for a new hobby hopefully a legal one. After 10 years, the free-to-play mobile game Kim Kardashian Hollywood is closing its red carpet on April 8th. The socialite turned billion dollar businesswoman confirmed the news in a statement saying, this journey has meant so much to me, but I've realized that it's time to focus that energy into other passions. Now, before you go, Simone, you're really doing a story about Kim Kardashian's mobile game. Give me a minute, I'm going somewhere with this. All right, back to it. Since 2014, Kim Kardashian Hollywood has really sucked people in. It did not matter where I was. If I got that little notification, I was clocking in. You know, like grandpa's funeral. Sorry, me and Chloe got to go make an appearance at One Oak. Her hair piece, match her bag. Look at her nails. And the dog. I got the dog in real life. Which is why this pop-up has people shook. It's not on app stores anymore, while existing players get this message from in-game reporter Ray Powers with an ominous countdown of when the app disappears for good. According to app maker Glue, 42 million people downloaded the app in less than two years. In that time, players spent 35,000 years playing the game. In two years, it's been around now for 10, but players spent a lot more on the free app than just their time. Like, I had spent, like, money on this stupid app because I never thought I'd go with you. I promise y'all, I have spent upwards of three grand on Kim Kardashian Hollywood over the last, what, 10 years? And now she's shutting it down. Kimberly, ma'am. In the same two years where people spent 35,000 years playing, Kim Kardashian Hollywood raked in more than 157 million in sales. And since then, untold amounts of change. Welcome to the world of freemium games and microtransactions. Freemium, the meum is Latin for not really. Whereas those just use the concept of XP or experience points, we've introduced the idea of micro paying with money. Money, 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 money. See, I told you I was going somewhere with this. Microtransactions, typically five bucks and under, let people buy virtual goods within a game's ecosystem. Microsoft first brought the idea to life in 2005, Wire called it the online store of the future. And in 2006, Bethesda Studios latched on, selling the horse armor pack for $250 in the Elder Scrolls IV, Oblivion. Since then, microtransactions have become a part of nearly every game. So many people buy it that it accounts for billions of dollars in revenue. Hey, don't steal my thunder, but he's right. Global microtransaction revenue is valued at about $75 billion in 2023 and is expected to grow to $118 billion by 2027. That's like the annual revenue of AT&T. Hey, what's the biggest number you can think of? A trillion billion zillion! That's pretty big. In most premium mobile games, you pay to progress. They also offer cosmetic upgrades like skins and emotes. Then there's the dreaded loot box, which many regulators have likened to gambling. But that's a story for another day. The annals of the internet are littered with nightmare microtransaction stories, like the six-year-old Connecticut boy who spent 16,000 of his parents' money on an iPad game, a Belgian boy who charged 50K to his grandfather's credit card for in-game gold in a mobile game, and a Chinese teen who depleted her family's savings, spending 64 grand on mobile games over four months. Freemium games are what's now, and it's all just a lot of harmless fun. Right. Hey, Fortnite players, you might be eligible for a refund. This one caused enough harm to get the government's attention. The FTC accused Fortnite maker Epic Games of using design tricks known as dark patterns to charge players without informed consent. Epic Games is ordered to pay $245 million in refunds for unwanted transactions, and gamers have until the end of February to apply. Don't cry for him just yet. Fortnite made $1.1 in mobile revenue alone before getting banned from Google Play and Apple App Stores. That was for creating a direct payment system to work around Google and Apple's in-game transaction fees. Again, a story for another day.